Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Uh, I have a guest on today's show, Mrs. Uh, Sophia Vergara. <laughs> that one I'm not as upset about. She's hot. She is a good one. Weird voice though. I. I've been watching America. That's it. That's not it. That was a pretty good impression. That... I. <laughs> that wasn't the worst. You sound like Kermit. Kermit Vergara. Yeah. That's not a bad combo. She's really hot. Her husband hotter. Dude. And he is such a, like, dweeb. He, like, hosts, like, massive games of, like, Dungeons and Dragons at his house. Does he really? Dude, huge. Joe Maganiello? Yes. Magaziniello. What's his name? Manganiello. Oh, okay. Or Mangello. Magellan? Something along those lines. Did he discover things? He is fucking hot. Yeah. And... Nerdy? Yeah, hot nerd. What's gets what's better? We're taking over. We're taking up. I put myself in the same book. I, just I was just going to say, who are you talking about? I consider myself i've been told in particular with like when i get salt and pepper i'll look a lot more like joe mangello or manganello than i don't it's like no one's ever said that streaks it's true i i i confidently believe i've heard it you've already started this thing in the comments where you've you have somehow infected people into thinking that you look like jason momoa (laughs) Listen, and it bothers listen. me so much. There, there's, first of all, not an infection. Infection. It is absolutely an incredible coincidence that it just so happens that people also believe I look like Jason Momoa. I think that you have diseased people. Uh, you have I, diseased them. I don't think so. And if, oh, what, what, why can't people just say I look like Jason Momoa? Why can't you be happy with that? You don't want to be on a podcast where you're finally not the fucking hottest person in the room? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let me have this, okay? No, because listen, listen because I here's know, I know what, I, I what? Know what I know what I got. Let them believe. Yeah. Sorry, go it's ahead. It's like Santa Claus. It's, you know, it's like little kids in Santa Claus. Let them believe it. Let them believe it. When did you find out Santa Claus wasn't real? Spoiler alert, by the way. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Pussy, fellatio, for the kids that are still here. Now they're gone. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, I will. <laughs> the fuck was that i was uh i don't remember what age i must have someone tell you no 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 no. you remember when we talked about that one kid there was always that one kid well you know his name stavros started with an s yeah and with an avros with a stop with a a rose yeah such a little like (sighs) taught me about pussy and uh definitely told me santa claus realistically though ahead of his time i guess ahead of his time i didn't believe him though i believed him about the pussy stuff I, I I was trying to say this in whatever episode we previously spoke about him, but he would always do this thing in class where he would... Do you remember he'd, that? He'd always be drinking? No, drinking he, his would, own. he would suck his own spit that's already in his mouth, like it was going somewhere. <laughs> well, sometimes it dribbles out. Yeah, but no, he was he was doing okay. Like, he had I strong lips? Yeah, he had a strong set. Some people don't have a strong set of lips, and it falls out. Like that, remember that girl from kindergarten? Oh, don't little, say her name. That little, I don't remember it. Little, oh, you know it. Oh yeah, I do that. Little, yeah, you do that little idiot. No, I mean, if I we don't say her name, can we call her a, a, a little bitch? You can fire. I don't want her to figure it out, but she was a drooly woman. If she, oh wait, she drooled all over my stuff. Yeah, it was in. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I won't call her a bitch. She knows she was though. You didn't like her. I don't remember not liking her, but every little kid is a little idiot or a little bitch. You know That's what I true. mean? I was a little idiot. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you were a little... You were both. You were a bitch idiot. <laughs> I was a bitch idiot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Do you remember... Hold on. Now that we're talking about girls from our past... Uh-oh. Going back to pre-K here... Yep. There was a girl in that class, mm. right? And we, I think we were like in love with her. We were, I was in love with two girls in that class, but one and, of them... And uh, here we go. No, I no, was, no. I was in love with her. I don't know if she was in love with me. Every fucking girl was in love with you from pre-K until 30 minutes Are ago. Are you done crying? Go ahead. That wasn't the case, you dumb idiot bitch. Uh, like but remember Jackie? Oh, I remember Jackie. Yeah, yeah. She, she might. We might as well have been in class with fucking at the time. Who's someone really hot <laughs> at the time? It was like Jennifer Lopez. Bingo. Yeah, it was. She was like the. <laughs> she was like the top. of She the was mountain. like the pre-K girl all of us wanted. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so weird to say as grown men on a show now but yeah she was and i remember one time in like third grade we were at the park Mm -hmm. i don't know if you were there actually but she showed up Uh uh-oh dude and i just started climbing the swing set yeah 
because I was I, I don't know why like what you know am I, like a, a gorilla you were climbing I was trying to like impress her you had a very specific set of skills mm-hmm. and you needed to show them off I could climb climbing a swing set was pretty impressive because it it was a tall set it was a tall set. And not only that, but I was barefoot because I had better grip. It did. It did. You were, you know how like people would like, I watched a lot of Tarzan. You, I was going to say, you know how like the monkeys climb where they like go like one arm over the other and their fucking feet are bare. Yeah. That was you. I did that. And then you would slide down. There was like, it was like a tri- like a this, triangle. And then there was a middle pole mm-hmm. and you would slide down the middle pole and you were just like, like winded, like it was high. Yeah. Yeah. I would do... I'm not even kidding. That's what I did. And I remember she showed up to the park and I was like, well, I gotta I gotta start yeah. climbing now. There are a few girls... Because we've like... There are a few girls in our life that have been like... We both were like vying for their attention at one point in time. You know what I mean? You, ever, that, you ever climb for a girl? Uh, I I did a lot of dumb things for her girls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember the first time I had met a girlfriend that I had in high school. I was walking down the street with her and her cousin and you know how like people like leapfrog the parking meters oh god yes didn't make it over didn't fucking bang boom did you hit your head on the floor i hit my fucking nuts on the parking meter and went straight to the ground and like got up like yeah my, part of it part of it <laughs> you played it off yeah did she say anything oh yeah what'd she say you're an idiot <laughs> she gets you to hospital yeah no she she immediately made fun of me yeah um well it worked did it? No. Nope. It worked for a bit. <laughs> it worked for a stretch. Yeah. That was like, I remember that was one of the first girls that like, because I, you know, I always wanted to be different because I was always goofy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was always goofy. By the way, I saw Rollerblades in my thing. It said, uh, you know, for Christmas. So it was for me. And then on the Christmas day, it said uh, from Mrs. Claus. That's how I found out Santa was an idiot and not real. But... <laughs> Just to fucking tie it in, because it would have been like a sneeze stuck in my fucking head. If I okay, didn't. okay. Um, rollerblades is the reason. Yeah, those idiots. Uh, never learned how to rollerblade, as you know. <laughs> but, I've seen Frankie almost die on rollerblades. Almost. Yep. Uh, what was I saying? Something about jumping over a parking meter. Yeah. Oh, that was the first girl that you told me, like, yo, just be yourself. And I I'll, said that? Yes. Wow. You set me up with this girl at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, now you I know remember. who I'm talking about. I thought you were... I, I thought it was a different high school. No. What other high school? Well, like, where she went to high school. No. I'm thinking of the other. No, 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 no. You, yeah, you. Yeah, I know who you're talking you about You know now. who I'm talking about. Yeah. It was the first time, because before that I tried Why'd to... Why'd I say be yourself? Dude, because you were a fucking icon. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> a fucking icon. That's why. And what a boy, Dr. Phil. You were at the time. Oh. And I remember, because like before that, I was Mr. Fucking Cool. You know what I mean? I tried at least. I was wearing three size, three XL shirts. You yeah. Know, three matching fitted, you yeah. know. Uh, and I jerseys. remember. Jerseys. A lot of jerseys. Yeah. Uh, and on like orange sneakers. Yeah. Uh, the, my, my ice creams. Yeah, you had ice creams. Yeah. I wore that with my uh, uh, Browns Joe Juravicious jersey. Holy shit. Yeah. You had a brown Joe Jervicious Jer- jersey. Oh, yeah. I hope you kept it. Uh, no, it's long gone. It is. Yeah. But <laughs> uh, you told, I was like, yo, what do I do? Like, if she's like, what if she's not into me? And you were like, dude, just be yourself. And I remember it had like snowed. It had snowed when we hung out with him for the first time. And yo, the second she met up with us, I ran full speed into a mound of snow and dove through it. And I was like, he wants me to be myself. And that's what it was. Was that yourself? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go with nope. <laughs> I'm going to go with nope. Because that sounds like something Keith would do. Keith and I Keith and I were two you know two peas in a pod. You guys were performers. You know, Keith, remember when Keith slid on top? That was like the same day. He slid on top of a car and it was like a sheet of ice. And him and the sheet of ice went down at the same time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Dude, one time I was with Keith and we were hanging out with all our friends, but it was time to go home. So it was just me and him and we're standing on a corner and it was snowing and there was like ice on the ground and we didn't know it, but we were standing on black ice. Oh. So we're standing on it. And then this was around the time that Keith was doing his whole bush diving thing. So Keith used to just jump in bushes and it was the funniest thing to us ever. It, but like, and it wasn't like a small, like bush. We're talking about dangerous, good die, get impaled. Dude. This kid was throwing his body into like ten foot high, like shrubbery, <laughs> with no, off of houses and shit. with no regard for his own health at all. And he'd come out 
scratches, bleeding every time, and we'd be dying laughing. Yeah, because it was good. Yeah. So we're standing on the corner, and we're standing on black ice, unknowingly. And then <laughs> Keith decides he's going to jump in a bush, right? And he just looks at me. Dude, I remember this clear as day. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. He looks at me, and he goes... <laughs> He just looks at me and he goes, <laughs> you're going to think I'm making this up. Turbo time. <laughs> right? <laughs> looks at me and goes, <laughs> turbo time. And goes to take a step. Black ice slips face on the ground. Down. Just immediately, like, bang. <laughs> just hits the floor. I, I had to be dragged home. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, Keith. Was an icon as well. <laughs> an absolute icon. That's what we were recognizing. Anyone in your bloodline was an icon in a day. An icon. And he would just. <laughs> Dude, why did he say that? And I could see him too, just like. Turbo time. He was so. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking turbo time, Dad. Dude, he was so serious about it being turbo time. And what made it even funnier is Keith really looked like harry potter back in the day yeah so just imagine daniel radcliffe just standing next to you and just looking at you in the eyes just going turbo time yeah and also uh full disclosure i believed him dude (laughs) you believed it was turbo time i I genuinely was like it is time for the turbo (laughs) i was fully in turbo time with him but it lasted literally 0.3 seconds not even a full second yeah and it was the opposite of turbo time it it was laid down bedtime i was gonna say it was sleepy (laughs) sleepy time Oh man, that's oh, fucking fuck. insane. But yeah, you told me you told me to be myself and Damn uh, man. It worked. Hindsight it didn't work. Right. You know. It was and all about <laughs> Does it work? D- uh yeah, I mean where I am now? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if you're sage, doing a song and dance. Sage or... advice that you provided me at the age of 14. S- sage advice? Sage. Isn't it sound advice? It's also sage advice. I've never heard sage. Isn't sage like something you burn when you're trying to get rid of bad spirits? It could something? be, but it's also just like sage advice. Like it's like old wise advice. Yeah, I don't know if I believe anything you say anymore after the whole fiber conversation don't, Let's not had. do this. I also m- incorrectly said something that someone pointed out in the comments that I definitely didn't read. What? Um, <laughs> where I said causation doesn't mean correlation. It's the other way around. It's correlation does not mean causation. And that's true. It's a mm. scientific part. It's a part of social sciences, Joey, that, you, you know, you didn't. You took one class at Yale from 14 years ago. <laughs> Dude, what I heard, I couldn't, I found out you were doing that on Twitch. I was like, I had to stop what I was doing. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, It's like psychology. Good for you, though. Yeah. Continuing education never stops. Hey, man. What'd you learn? Stuff. Yeah? Did you learn about, like, the, like, stages of psychosexual development? No. Really? I mean, it was a 101. I don't think we're getting to psychosexual. Yeah, I think you get into that. Uh, Yeah. Like where it's like uh, I think it's I think it's uh, like Freud the, the you know Freud him he said that like at one point all humans go through like want to fuck their dad mom not well, their dad that, that's <laughs> well I mean that's so there's the Oedipal complex and the Electra complex Oedipal is boys want to fuck the, the shit out of their mom right I mean you could have just you didn't have to do that <laughs> you didn't have to go like heavy fuck the shit out of well it's just want to have some relations and girls want to bang their dads yeah okay yeah. You know, a lot of people don't really hold Freud in, like, high regard in the Yeah, I think he world. was a racist, too. Wasn't he? I think they all were. I think they had to be in order to be, like... I feel like everyone from back in the day, like, had a really good thing that they contributed to society. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But they also, like, had sex with an animal. Yep. They yeah. had something. Yeah. I mean, that, that makes sense. I think you needed to, you know, distance yourself from the status quo back then. Yeah. Speaking of psychosexual... You know, whatever. Yes, I kind of yes, wanted yes. to talk to you about what's going on with you because before... Wait, what, a, what a fucking transition. What's going on with me? Because before, right, we're sitting in my living room and we're just oh. kind of discussing, you know, the show and like... Game what, plan. Sort of like a game plan, a loose game plan of like, you know, where's the show going to go or like, you know, whatever, just planning for the future. And then uh, like I was looking down at my phone uh, doing something and then... You know, whatever. Then I look up and I'm talking to Frankie and I hear like, huh. and I go, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so it scares me because it sounds like someone literally right here made a grunting noise. 
So I like turned <laughs> and went like this. And behind me is just like uh, like a TV console with like whatever, like books in the cable box. And then the TV, the TV's black. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And so I turn back around at Frankie and he's just looking at me and I hear, oh, and I go, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? So now I think there's like a ghost <laughs> who's <laughs> moaning Myrtle was behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Might be fucking behind me. And then I ended up finding out that Frankie had put on a ASMR video. It was. Yes. Uh, of a man moaning. Just type in male moaning into YouTube and you'll find it. It's got to be one or two. And it's a dark screen, so I literally thought the TV was off, but I was hearing a guy just going, Ugh. Mm. <laughs> He got into it, too. Yeah, eventually, we, we were trying to turn it off, and Frankie didn't know how, and we just kept hearing, like, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you about, like, why do you know that video Listen, exists? I mean, sometimes, just to make people smile, you just type in the dumbest shit that you can find. What are you doing? Oh, you're reading. this around. And... Every now and then, you accidentally type in male moaning to YouTube, and there's a lot of ASMR on Let there. Let me ask you how you accidentally <laughs> do that, because I'm interested in how you accidentally do that. So, something. listen to me. If you want to make anyone laugh, just type in male... Like, a well-placed, spontaneous moan, hard to beat. It's fucking hysterical. Okay. And uh, this is not the first time. I've played male moaning to let make people laugh all the time. I actually remember the first time. You remember the first time? <laughs> yeah. We were in Vegas. Oh, what a good one. And me and our other friend flew in like late. We got there like two days after you guys. Yeah. And we showed up to their door and I'm knocking on the door and no one's answering. <laughs> but then all of a sudden I start hearing this blaring, oh, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and I open the door and Frankie's blasting male moaning. Tell me a time. And our other two friends are passed out. Tell me a time that you've heard male moaning and not laughed. Male moaning's nice. Not, <laughs> not nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah, but yo, my la- my last apartment, sound traveled through that thing. Re- oh, yeah. Like a Japanese train. Yeah, yeah. They go fast. They vary. They're like <laughs> light trains. That's why they call them light trains. Bang. Because sound doesn't go that quick in there. So, Okay. Uh, anyway, so I used to hear people, and below me was an Airbnb, so it would be people coming in and out. Oh, yeah, I remember. Honestly, mostly mostly Asian for dude, whatever reason. We, I, it was. You're 100% right. A and lot they of fuck. sex, dude. Dude, they fuck. Dude, those walls were fucking basically paper. I was, it was, a, I was basically in on it. And we would be like watching like fucking WWE, and we'll just hear like, hi. We're just like Jesus, like people just moaning as loud as they could. What? <laughs> what? S- seeing your <laughs> why your tongue? <laughs> yeah, my tongue was the one that made the noise. Oh my god! But yeah, they were they were going to town on each other. Big time fuckers in that yeah. apartment. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I don't know why, but it was mostly Asian people who would. Rent the apartment. And yeah. Boy, do they get down. Yeah, they were like jackrabbits down there. Let me tell you, boy. It was it was Friday night every single day that they were there. Because, yeah. And it, it was, was like... It was like an anniversary every time. Dude, it, they were just literally just destroying each other. I got scared. I honestly... It, the first time, it scared me. Because I was like, is there someone being murdered? And there was, but in a good way. Oh. I was like going to say, what? Their vaginas were getting absolutely... Or, or buttholes. You never know. Well, a butthole will make you scream bloody murder. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you never know. Apparently, the male G spot's in the butthole. Not apparently. I think scientifically, it's in there. Is it? Yeah. All right. Uh, I didn't know that. I don't either. I and I have no <laughs> desire to figure it out. I'm cool with the orgasms I got. Yeah. I think they're cool, dude. I think I, they're dope. My, I'm telling you, like, I'm good with the gazzies I got. Anything after that, like, gazzies? there's no or gazzies. Okay. Uh, like. I wouldn't put anyone through the horror of going anywhere near my asshole. But I do... I heard... You probably have a nice asshole. Can I see it? You don't want to see it. I'm telling you it's not that nice. Dude, do you remember when I looked at mine? Yeah. I was horrified. I couldn't believe that that my body allows a place like that to exist. You still haven't addressed that. I feel like we should... You should start therapy. Because I don't want it to bottle up. 
I need to start therapy because I don't want it to mess with you that you've seen your asshole and like you know. Oh no, it's it's already like I'm I'm a ruined person because of it. I, that's why I feel like you should talk to someone about it, dude. I kid you not, like you 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 never think that a part of you could be so fucking gross. And I I had a day that day, and I was like, I have to live with the fact that my body, like, there's a part of me that I would never let my worst enemy see. Yeah, my butt just looks like an old worm, dude. Sarlacc pit. My asshole, like, friggin' Luke Skywalker almost got thrown into that bad boy. Oh, the thing with teeth? Yeah. Imagine your butt had teeth. That'd be... That would honestly make life a lot easier. Don't vaginas have teeth? Not all. I mean, well, there some was that, of them. There was that movie, uh, teeth. teeth. Vagina Dentata. Yeah. Is that real? I don't know. I would... I don't know. Maybe, like, if you were born in Chernobyl around... Uh-oh. What? Is that insensitive? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I didn't know... <laughs> If you were born in Chernobyl, Chern- Chernobyl, Chernobyl, you you was born in Chernobyl. <laughs> if you were born there, they still have some like radiation stuff. Yeah, no, I could. I mean, I I know that there have been like cases of like weird deformities around Chernobyl. Yeah, but I like there's got to be pussy teeth out there. Like there has to be one. There's got to be at least like there's a- everything. Remember the video, the famous video of the guy with those big fat nuts that he could like sit on like a beanbag chair. No, what? What? Dude, dude, you've never seen the fattest balls on earth? No, that would be awful. Yeah, and he has to carry them around. And people gotta help him. Gotta help your friend carry his balls. I mean, that's not the worst. That's just skin. Balls are just skin. Sitting on balls. Dude, what? Do you remember when it was like a joke? I, I, I'm glad we've progressed to the point in, in society where it's no longer cool to have a big dick. It's actually kind of cool to have a small dick. Damn it, where the... <laughs> Where the fuck is this video? It was an old video, man. It was like a guy in like a, a it was like a third world country. It looked like, and he and he had these huge balls, dude. And people had to help him move them, and he would he would just sit on them like a beanbag chair. Oh my god! You know how much that makes me squirm. How does that not just rip the rest of your like from your body? Well, I mean, at that point, you basically you're you're basically carrying another person, so that skin is probably strong as shit. You could literally fit two ten year olds. In this man's ball sack. That's how big... Not that you... Listen, I know there's a lot of sex trafficking going on. I'm not making a joke. I'm saying the size of a 10-year-old, you could fit in these balls. Like, Dude, huge. That is wild. Yeah. That is insane. I would... I'm very happy with the balls I got. I would change my asshole, though. Okay. To... I'm, anything. Just anything what it is not. Mm-hmm. I'd take your butthole. You don't know what it is. I... Listen to me. Guarantee it's better than mine. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I mean, all right. You ever? You, I'm not gonna trade. Yeah, it's it was not it was it's not pretty. No. Um. Listen, by the way, also I I found this on my phone. Uh, I had screenshots back in the day from these old from. All right, let me back up here. I went down a rabbit hole like a year ago. Sorry, that's me. I went down a rabbit hole like a year ago of like these weird porn titles because uh-huh. I saw one and I was like, there has to be more of these. You need more. Yeah, so I but I forgot about them. Like I wanted to talk about them on a podcast, but I just forgot. But I found them the other day because I was like deleting shit from my phone. Okay, the first one. These, so these are all real. Okay, but are they like they're you not know, parody? Like, like okay, so they're not like star whores. And no, like, Face Jam. Yeah, like Raiders of the Lost Bark. That sounds like a dog movie. Yeah, I think it might have been actually. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm confused as to what we're talking about. Right Raiders now. of the Lost Bark. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, this one is out of breath pregnant girl humps her pillow. Of course. Absolutely. I feel like out of breath. The out of breath part really makes it real, you know? Who's really searching the keywords out of breath? You know what? I'll tell you, there's gotta be things out there for every person. If you're really into like exhaustion porn, bingo. Exhausted pregnant women, boom. Exhausted pregnant women masturbating, you, you hit the mother load there. Yeah. But I love the, the the out of breath part is the best part of it. Why? Also, the pregnant porn? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've got... Not like, for me. Not for me. Yeah, yeah, that's... Just not for me. It's all right. Hey, but I get it. Like, you want to watch own. a pregnant girl <clears throat> bang her pillow, good on you. I don't know. I feel like that's too innocent. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to watch someone... Like, she's already pregnant. Like, get into it, you know? Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, oh, like... Yeah. Yeah, but I... Stop, please stop. <laughs> you sound out of breath. 
Dude, why do girls bang their pillows? Yeah, I guess it's, it's like... It's such a common thing to bang a they pillow. They just, like, scoot across the carpet or some shit. They have like a, a dog with an itchy ass? Yeah, dude, you know how easy it must be for a woman to masturbate in public? I knew a woman who used to like, hump her couch, the side, like the arm of her couch. Dude, absolutely, yeah. I, I'm trying to think. I, I'm really not, like... I haven't asked much about women masturbating, uh, but I would assume, you know, there are some people that do that. There's furniture getting all the action out there. Dude, 100%. Guys are just cranking it out to, like, the most random shit, mm-hmm. and then girls are just scooting across their fucking living room floor and getting off. Yeah, I could see a cloud. I'm like, that kind of looks like titties, and then I'm good. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. If I needed a full couch... And girls could be watching, like, the weirdest shit. They'll be like, oh, fucking Clifford the Big Red Dog is on. And just fucking make their way across the, the arm of the chair. Damn, I, haven't remember, I haven't heard that in so long. What, Clifford, Clifford the, the Big Red Dog? Probably got some girls off. Maybe some boys, too. You never know. You do never know. Next. Yeah. Invisible ghost gangbang. Dot, dot, dot. Wait. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Yes, it's what you think it is. Oh. (laughs) That's the title. (laughs) Just in case you didn't think it was exactly what the title was telling you it was. It is. It is. I have to say, the reassurance at the end there really makes you feel better about it. Hammers it home. Really does. Really does. But invisible ghost gangbang, yes, it it, it is what you think it is. This one I watched. Give me the rundown. So, it's a girl okay. pretending to get slammed by a bunch of ghosts. And she's like, you know, pretending to be banged and also jerking a fake ghost. So, so by the way, two for two with masturbation videos. Mm. <laughs> I think we found where, where you like to hang out. Well, no, I don't hang out here. Yeah, I'm sure. I, don't, I don't like that. What? Masturbation? No, like solo porn. Oh, you're not like you're not like a solo guy. You want to yeah. see a team. Yeah, I want to. I like a team effort. I know what you're talking you know? about. Team yeah. building. Yeah, I want yeah. some chemistry. Yeah, you want to you want to see some rebounds. You want to see some you know assists. Yeah. I get I, you. I don't want to see a you know, but like it, but like, I don't know. I just feel like with a solo thing, it just feels like it's weird. Like I don't want to watch. This is what you do when you're by yourself. Yeah. I don't want to peek in. You want to watch someone else? You know, fillet somebody else. I, that would be nice. That would, yeah, I could see what be you're nice. saying. So there. I don't, you know, I don't do that. But this woman, she did fake bang a bunch of ghosts. If I remember correctly, though, I'm pretty sure there was like a disclaimer of like I made this for a specific guy because sometimes people like pay lesser known porn stars to like make videos okay. for them, like OnlyFans, kind of. But that's like for an audience. But this would be like if I was a porn star and you paid, like I'll give you five hundred dollars if you make this like ghost gang bang video, and I'll be like, all right, cool. And I filmed it and I gave it to you. It was, she said something like that. Where it's like she made it for a guy and she knows that it's like funny. So okay. she's, she's in on the joke. So she knows. It's a bit. Everyone knows that there's no ghosts gangbanging her. Yeah. I well, feel she, like she knows that. But I feel like... Th- th- see, that's confusing. There's some psychics that would probably think otherwise. Yeah, I mean, listen. Apparently Lucy Liu got fucked by a ghost while filming a movie. Didn't she say that? that? Yeah, she like in an art like an interview said that she got banged by. You got to look this shit up. I'll look it up. Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou slammed by ghost. Lucy Lou sex with ghost. I mean, if you just look it up, she's hot. She still got it. Lucy Lou ghost sex. Hold on, there's an article. Yeah. Oh, there's seven, seven celebrities. celebrities who've had sex with a ghost or at least cuddled with them. Oh, you don't can't look put at it, Demi Moore. That's fake. Oh, yeah, that's in a movie. This was real. She, like, full-on said, like, yeah. all right, Lucy Liu. 1999 had a sexual encounter with a ghost while she was trying to nap on her futon. Some sort of spirit came down from God knows where and made love to me. It was sheer bliss. It felt I, I felt everything. I climaxed, and then he floated away. It was almost like what I might have, what might, what might have happened to Mary. That's how I felt. So, who's Mary? The... The mother of Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Just random Mary? I, I didn't expect it. You know. uh, yeah, you know. Mother, but, mother Mary. Okay. Ghost. So ghost gangbangs are in there. Yeah, and now the last... The, well, this isn't the Was last Was there one. like... Did she like squirt like fucking like didn't watch that far i just wanted to see like what was was going on in the middle so she's just playing with herself pretending there was a ghost yeah and there may multiple geist (laughs) 
Yes. <laughs> Ghosts. Geists. Yes, I know. Whatever it is. Uh, this one, by the, again, these are all real. You can look them up. Big ass Latina. Mm-hmm. Now, let's stop. That seems like it's common. Don't know at this point if it's her ass. Or just a giant ass Latina. Or just a big fucking <laughs> six foot seven Latina. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, you're right. Where is a big ass Latina? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, where, like, we need to know the, 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 you know, how that's working there. Um, Spoiler alert, she had a fat butt. So it's just a big a big ass. Is this in the title? No, no, no. Oh, I'm going to say this is quite the title. I'm off the record now. Michael Scott. <laughs> Paper cup. <laughs> but okay, a big a- big ass. Big ass Latina. Latina. Her butt. Big ass Latina teen. Careful. Chased. <laughs> by the way, wasn't a teen. Not okay. even close. Okay. Big ass Latina teen chased by lesbian loving T Rex. Pause. On hoverboard. Mm-hmm. Then fucked. This is very specific. What to unpack? Who is this for? Like who go like uh, like who is this for? Big ass Latina, fucking horny ass paleontologist. I'll tell you where they lost me. Big ass Latina, right up my alley. That, I mean, that's again, that's probably quite commonly searched. Love that. Teen also probably commonly searched as well. Chased by lesbian loving, and you're going, where's this going? Well, who's like uh, lesbian loving? What? Yeah, and then you see T Rex, and you go. That has to say Trex but, but, and be a thing that I don't know. There's no way that it's a fucking dinosaur. But no. Trex is chasing her. <laughs> yeah, Trex. I thought Trex was another porn star. Uh-huh. But it probably is. But. No, it's it's a T-Rex that's on a hoverboard. Okay. And then he, you know, ends up fucking her. I need some character development here. I need to know, is she lesbian? Is that why she's getting chased by the lesbian loving T-Rex? I assume... So why is this T Rex only going after lesbians? The th- the thrill of the chase, the thrill of the hunt. Yeah, I think that's what it is. That's why gay dudes like straight guys. Uh, they want to try and convert. M- maybe, yeah, maybe. So so wait, so wait, was the T Rex a male or female? The T Rex for sure had a dick. Oh, so male T Rex. Mm-hmm. So boy Trex, right, is just after her. Yes. Oh. It, got uh, her, by the way. I, I, I assume he got her. Chased her, captured her, fucked her. I I assumed that that was what happened. I mean, not many people, porn or not, you're not getting, a, you're not out running a T Rex. Mm, they're let, very fast, let alone a horny one. That's on a hoverboard, no less. Of all things, Usain Bolt's not escaping this T Rex. Listen, just think about think about this. Close your eyes. How much scarier would Jurassic Park be if that T Rex just was at full mast and on a hoverboard. That's terrifying. Terrifying. It's terrifying. You know, because on top of thinking that this thing is going to get you and put its dick in or around you, you then worry about that ex- the fucking hoverboard exploding. Yeah. And now uh, the last one. This is So this is, uh, you said, and I quote when Joey was telling me he wanted to do this, I have one that you will not believe. Well, no, it's not that you won't believe it. It's that you're like, it's not phrased politically correct. Uh-oh. Go ahead. But it... Lay it on thick. So, so you're just reading a title. This was the one that I saw, and I was like, what is going on? And all it is is it said, uh... oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to get the ads ready. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's uh, Mom Fucks Retarded Son. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that was like an actual thing. And now look. That's fucked up. But it's funny. It is funny. Because, it, I mean, it's obviously fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, right? But, you know, I'm scrolling along. Picture this. Uh, Joey, scrolling along, trying to find the one. And then you stumble upon... And it just jumped off the page. Mom fucks retarded son. What is worse? Finding it or watching it? So I had to watch it. Okay. For research. For research. For research. Because at that point, I was like, well, now I know I'm going to tell everyone that I found this. So, <laughs> so I, they're going to ask, how am I going to not, yes, you yes. know, I have a responsibility. You have a journalistic responsibility to tell them yeah. exactly what happened when the mom got hold of her Retarded mentally disabled son. son. Yes. <laughs> and um, there was no 
so and this is the only reason why I'm bringing it up is that there was no indication that there was any you know mental disabilities yeah. going on. So what that means is someone just filmed a regular porno, like a re- it was like an amateur thing, mm-hmm. and then decided that to get more views. You make that the title, which means someone's got to be Someone's searching. looking for this shit. Someone's looking for And those for are the real villains in this whole story. That's what I want to... I just wanted everyone to know that someone's out there. Yeah. You someone's. Know, there's people. You know who the fuck... What, were the, what was the viewership on this video? I wish I remembered. You didn't. You just look it up. I'm sure it's still there. I'm, I don't want to go back. You know, I don't blame you. Yeah, because then it, it, it'll fuck up my search. That's a, that's a minefield. I don't want to open the door. Instagram's going to start recommending weird shit. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you're out there, and you know exactly who you are. Cut it out. Cut it out. Also, we don't use those words anymore. That's good. But it was, uh, it caught me. It really caught me by surprise. Yeah. I've never seen something like that in all my porn days. Yeah, no, 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 no. That, that is, uh, that's a special place in hell. Regardless of if you're getting people off. Like, do you think it was made, and then someone just said, like, this kid... Let's let's just name it something stupid, and like it was like an insult. They did that out of like trying to insult the people involved. I I, I couldn't even. Know, I don't even know where to begin with it. Well, hold on one second. Mm-hmm. How are we not addressing the elephant in the fucking room? The here? mom. It's the mom. Not even a stepmom. Like why? Like forget about the mental disability. It's the mom and her son. What fucking planet are you on that you want to see that? <laughs> Dude, and dude, why do you feel like you need to add another element? Dude, to this? if you if there was a porno of someone getting fucked by their mom, I would apologize to them. I would like do everything I could to help them. Yeah, that's uh, listen. It was a fucked up title, oh. and it sent me down a bad path. Yeah. But it also led me to big ass Latina being chased by a T Rex. You know, peas and carrots. Well, I don't know if that applies that's exactly what it applies to. I don't really know. I think it does. But it carrot was- and stick. You're getting further from an expression. Nope. You're just naming foods now. Nah. You want to do one more? Ebbs and flows. Let's get to these ads. <laughs> we have advertisements for today uh, for the show. Uh, the first one being Honey, which is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones to fit in your cart. So when you're shopping, it automatically finds coupons and things on the internet to uh apply to your cart and you save money okay it's amazing and it's free uh they support they support over thirty thousand stores online uh they have tech gaming products popular fashion brands even food delivery um so yeah if you don't have honey then i don't know why you could just be saving money without even realizing um they have over 17 million members who have saved over two billion dollars okay so definitely go check out honey it's free literally free uh it installs in just a few seconds um and you can get it for free at joinhoney.com slash basement again that is joinhoney.com slash basement free saving money someone's doing the legwork of finding you coupons for you you might as well do it if you're gonna shop okay uh so go check them out next we have uh liquid iv which Frankie left here with a whole bunch oh, of Liquid yeah. IV. I crushed it on Saturday. They send me packages all the time. And, uh, yeah, so we have Liquid IV, um, which is basically the um, – it just helps you, like, hydrate, right? So one of the sticks is um, equivalent to, like, two or three glasses of water. Mm-hmm. It actually hydrates you quicker than water would because of uh, CTT, which is cellular transport technology. Who knows what that is? We don't, mm. obviously. I know it works, though. Yeah. Uh, I know it works though. It does, uh, but it does it does help you hydrate. If I like go on a long run and like sweat a lot, I have one of them. Or if I'm like hungover, I have one of them. Or I'll just have them anyway, just because they taste amazing. They have really good, um, you know, flavors of this also. So if you're looking for that, they also have an energy one, um, which is good. Uh, the premium matcha and green energy blend. Um, they're like one to two cups of coffee without the crash. So it's all really good stuff. Um, and right now they're doing 25% off on their site. Um, they're available nationwide at Costco as well, but if you go to liquidiv.com and use the promo code BASEMENT, you get 25% off of anything in the store. Um, that is liquidiv.com slash basement for 25% off. So start hydrating, people. Okay. Uh, next, we have BetterHelp. Uh, BetterHelp is um, online counseling. So if you guys are looking to talk to a therapist or a counselor or whatever you want to call it, um, you can use BetterHelp. Um, you know, you can text, call, FaceTime. There's 
bunch of means of communication with these people and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. Um, they have a bunch of licensed professionals that specialize in various different things like relationships, depression, or, you know, just a bunch of different things. So if you want to, you know, try online counseling, um, this is a way to do it. Uh, betterhelp.com uh, slash yard for 10% off your first month. Um, but yeah, go check it out. Also, if you're not, if you don't like your counselor, you can switch very easily. They make it easy to switch counselors. So, you know, part of, you know, therapy is finding, you know, a, a, a therapist that will kind of mesh with you well. So if you need to switch a bunch of times, it's, you know, it's nothing crazy, but yeah. So go to betterhub.com slash yard for 10% off of your first month of that. And lastly here, we have features, socks, okay? These are some of the best socks I've ever put on my feet because they have like these targeted compression things that hug the arch of your foot, keeping your sock in place. And I like a nice, tense sock. It's my favorite article of clothing. Your socks? Socks. You're a big sock guy. Well, I have a tub of socks. Tub? Tub. All right. Um, but yeah, so they have um, all this stuff... Um, that is amazing. It hugs the, f they call it the anatomical design. Sounds scientific. It's socks. So there's science and socks coming together to make something that is beautiful on your foot. Okay. Um, but go check out, uh, features, feature socks will change how you feel about socks forever. Okay. 10% off your first pair of features. When you go to, when you use the code basement, go to features spelled F E E T U R E S dot com use the promo code basement for ten dollars off of your first pair of features okay again f-e-e-t-u-r-e-s dot com promo code is basement for ten dollars off of your first pair of features all right that's good there you go so i hate to draw this from you this time from you but um what i wanted to start doing a segment it might be weekly it might not be weekly and i just want to know if i have the floor it's called keeping it frank Okay. It's, it's it's simple. Keep it frank. Keep I'm going to keep it frank with you. All right? So mm -hmm. are you okay with me? I don't know what it is. I know. That's the point. But what is it? If I told you, I don't know if you would let me do it. But what do I have to do? So, <clears throat> welcome back uh, to the first ever episode of Keeping It Frank. Oh, it has an intro. Yeah. Uh, portion of the show here where we do exactly what we are named to do. Keep it frank. Uh, joining me is uh, my uh, first guest ever, Joe Sanagato. Joe, hey. how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Glad we could fit you in. So, Joe, part of keeping it frank is we are here to tackle the tough questions uh, and tough um, things that we have done, whether in our life, uh, in order to keep it frank, be honest. Why did we do it? What happened? What do we feel will happen because of our actions and or inactions? Mm -hmm. And uh, on our debut episode... Uh, I want to ask you something, Joe. You um, uh, been uh, uh, creating content for better part of ten years now, uh, and uh, there are a few things you've done in your life uh, that have been as heavily criticized as your fucking hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joe, keep it frank with me. Yep. When did you start the hair flip, and why the fuck was it four years too late? Um, four. I appreciate you being generous. Um, hmm. I think yeah. it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Mm. So, you know how everyone was doing the buzz cut back in the day? Oh, yeah. And you, I was buzzing heavy. You were buzzing hard. I was buzzing hard, right? And at a certain point, I was like, can't buzz anymore. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I'm just going to grow it out a little bit. Okay. And I was, <sighs> so you know this, but in like fourth, fifth grade, I was flipping. You were flipping. You stopped for a while. I did. You did. Um, and I do remember specifically one time I flipped and wore a headband. Uh-oh. Right? And I was wearing a headband in class. And the old German teacher that we talked about not mm -hmm. too long ago mm -hmm. f absolutely fucking torched me. Dude, do you remember when kids would get yelled at for wearing headbands, hats? Yes. Dude, she goes, I go... They're coming your ass? I stepped on a cat. I was going to say, what the fuck? Dude, I thought there was like a... All right, back to it. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> that man's serious. No, but uh, so the old Schnett, uh, she... That's our teacher. Uh, the old Schnett. The old Schnett. The old Schnett. Yeah. She, um, she screamed at me and she and in front of everyone. She goes, of you sweating? And I was like, 
what? And she goes, are you sweating? And uh, it was more German. So I was like, are you sweating? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, no. And she goes, well, then take off your headband. And I, and, and I was just like, yeah. And I took it off and never fucking wore a headband again. So, so you, you famously stopped, you know, the days of D4L, Omarion, and, uh, you know, other uh, rap groups of the mid 2000s. You took some time off to transition into a buzz cut. What made what the fuck does D4L have to do with this? It was the time. What made you return back? This is some fucking journalism right here. It is. Don't rain on my parade. I'm not. What made you go back? To the hair flip. And why is it the most embarrassing hairstyle you've ever had? I don't even know if that's true. We got a lot more time to, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, I had the buzz cut. Mm. But, and I had a flip once before in my life. And, you know, it's like hard to change, like, from your hair. Like, sometimes sometimes you only have two your whole life. You only have two heads. Please stop doing that. <laughs> uh, but you only have two haircuts your whole life. So I had that one. Mm -hmm. And then I changed to a buzz cut. So as I started growing it out, I didn't know what to do with it. So I just went with what I knew. Okay. And it just so happened that it was a fifth grader's haircut. It was. You know? It was. I, I have noticed during your time, you've never experimented. It was with like a very big triangle. It was. It, so like, This was what was most impressive about it is it wasn't as much a flip as much as it looked like you just went one finger up and it just followed. It was a, there's something about Mary Jizz hair triangle yeah and i i, I mean I, I do have to say you know i've been quite um you know as as a journalist myself i've been quite um outspokenly uh you know critical of your hairstyles for sure do you feel this was the most embarrassing hairstyle that you've ever had and why is it I, i'm i'm nervous about you digging into your phone because I, I feel like my answer is going to be shit on by some some evidence or something. Just go ahead and answer the question, please. Do I think it's the worst haircut I've ever had? Yes. Um. At the end, it will. Yeah. Just because, like, I probably got away with that for a little bit in the beginning, mm -hmm. but when you wear it for until you're like twenty five, five or six or something, it just doesn't. It's not good. Yeah. And then, I guess my last question I have before I, I kind of go through, um, did you <laughs> did you feel that with the hair flip at know. the inappropriate age of twenty three, uh, a, a personality came through with it? Do I think a personality came with my haircut? Yeah. No. Okay. What the fuck was this then? Oh god. <laughs> what was this? <laughs> I mean, and I'll pose this question to our viewers. Guys, what was your most embarrassing hairstyle? Uh, I know, in particular, I know a white person that had dreads. Uh, we'd like to hear from you. So uh, this has wait, been... Wait, 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 host. What about you? Um, you know, I think that my hair... Uh, first of all, uh, I appreciate you. We're running out of time here. Um, I, I think I, as I have grown and developed into an individual at that point in time that is consistently changing, I remain static and not necessarily You haven't dynamic. said a thing. <laughs> I have had some varying hairstyles over, over the course of a couple of years. I would say that as well. Um, there was a point in time where I did bleach the top of my hair. and What? It, yeah. It was a summer of 2003 going into 2004. We didn't hang out in the summer. Yeah, because I was away either at day camp or the lake house. Mm -hmm. uh, but day camp. Shibley, Shibley Day Camp. Yeah. Now that I'm on a bigger fucking stage, I've said it before, but I was Spider-Man. Okay? If that rock climbing wall is still up there and they didn't paint the inside, my name is on the fucking inside of it, okay? Uh, but I appreciate you answering the question. Guys, I pose the same question for you. What has been your most embarrassing uh, hairstyle that you thought for some fucking reason worked? And listen, I'll do these questions all day because I just want to keep it frank. Are you done? I am. Well, that, that was, that, like... That was good. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry I'm trying to be unique here. Was that a cry or was that a tear? I, you know, I started it, had to follow through. Uh huh. I often just do things and hope that they land. Mm -hmm. You know, most of what I do is, like, doesn't stick, you know? But when it does... It, it kind of does. Right. It doesn't really hit that hard. Right. So, I mean, since you want to bring up my past, uh, we'll go back during a time. Uh, wait, 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 you know. Uh, you know. 
back when you used to wear Young Jeezy shirts? Well, don't fucking... Oh. I got that snow. I got that snow, man. I got that snow, man. He, Frankie had a shirt that was glitter. There was glitter on it. There was. It was a black shirt with gr- gray glitter. And it said, I got that, that, had that. Not that, that. I got that snow man. Man. And then there was a picture of a snowman. For those who are not familiar, when you got that snow, that means you got that. De cocaine. De cocaine. And at 13 and 14, I did not, still don't. Have a de cocaine. He don't. He didn't have that. I <laughs> did not Snow. have that. But and I also I'm pretty sure that the one responsible for the shirt is your loving mother, incredible woman, who didn't know that she was buying a cocaine shirt. No clue. For her son. Literally no clue. So people thought that he I had mean, that. Listen, people thought, but that he in fact didn't have. I dad. did not have that. Exactly. I had not dad. Uh, I, I had some questionable choices for apparel growing mm-hmm. up. Yeah, absolutely. You used to have the, the hoodies that would zip past all your face. Up. Oh yeah. All the way up. And then they had, they had little windows on the side. Yep. Sometimes for your eyes. Uh, sometimes no windows. Sometimes blind. Blind as a bat. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom still makes questionable shirt choices. Uh, two years ago for my birthday, she, she thought she got me a Captain America shirt. Nope. It was just a Puerto Rican shirt. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? It was the Puerto Rican flag. And she's like, it's Captain America. I was like, Mom, look at the tag. It says Puerto Rico. Like, she didn't believe me at first. It was like, it was literally just the fucking star, the red, like, triangle, and blue and white stripes. And I'm like, this is, Mom, this is so cute. But this is Puerto Rico. Which, I am not Puerto Rican. Right. And my mom was like, no, it's not. And I, I like, showed her, the, like, the tag. Said, like, vive en Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. And I was like, see? Yeah. Um, had she had gotten you a Columbia shirt. Would have been a little more on point. Right. You know? Uh, but I did make questionable apparel choices, <laughs> Joey. And I stand by all the ones that I made. Hey, growth. Uh, what, what's important is that we're here now. We're here now. And, and we're... And I don't... Have that snow. But neither of us have that. We never had it. <laughs> never had that. Never had. Never it. tried that. Never. No. Never tried uh, any uh, any drug really. I've seen that. Oh, I've seen that recently. Are you oh, have you seen that? Like, uh, like I think like two years ago we were at a bar, on a, 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 like you were there as well, bar in Astoria, and I went to the bathroom, and there was a guy that took a key out and had it. <laughs> He was doing that on the key. He had it. Yeah, yeah. And he like looked at me, he was, and he like offered it, and I was oh. like, "No, thank you." You're like, "No, I never touched that." Don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had. I think that was the only drug related shirt I had. I think. I'm gonna. I I don't I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. But I would bet no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that it was. There was some some stuff. There was some stuff for sure. That that era of my life has been uh, appropriately nicknamed uh, Snowman Frank. Yeah. Uh, there is D- a Dat pic- Frank. Dat Frank. There, I will find the picture. I, I have it somewhere of, <laughs> of you with that of yeah. me with that shirt on. And you had like I, you had a matching hat. I ha- well, I remember the hat I was wearing in the picture. First of all, take it at Remy Teen Night. Awesome. Amazing, amazing, awesome time. Used to grind on so much. Ass. Dude, thirteen-year-old Frank was crushing it. Yeah, just fucking just Shirley drinking Temple cr- in hand. <laughs> just drinking cranberry juice. <laughs> Shirley Temple in hand, and just you know the world at my fingertips. Were, did you sleep over sods that night? That night I didn't, but I was on the phone with you guys all night. Yeah, that was that was one of the iconic nights of our ch- oh, of our youth. It was amazing. I got his older brother called me a sperm. Yeah, poor Sod. I mean, I'm pretty sure this kid was morally and financially bankrupt because of us growing up. Like, we, not only would we take every ounce of dignity he had, but, like, didn't our friends, like, hustle him out of, like, his, like, PlayStation? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure. I'm <laughs> pretty sure. No, he used to make bets all the time. And he would lose. And he would lose. And he would make, like, bets and, like... But, if, like, that's on him making the bet. Fair enough. We would also break into his house. Well, break in's heavy. We would climb we, we the would balcony. We would climb the balcony when he was not home and sneak into his house. Tell me. Yeah. Statue of limitation, I'm pretty sure, is gone at this point. I think we're okay. Yeah, it's over. And he, he was a good sport about it. Good guy. Great guy. 
the first time I will I- say he repaid that favor years later. Because we he moved away at when we were young. Yeah. And then he came back and was like visiting. Just showed up. Do you remember that? Wait. So he got me back because he just showed up to my house maybe 10 years mm. after I had seen him and just walked in. Yeah. And didn't just walked in. Yeah. And luckily I was there. Because, like, my mom didn't really know who he was, Mm -hmm. you know, because we didn't, you know, maybe she did, but, like, it's 10 years. She doesn't remember shit. And I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. He's like, what? I'm saying, what's up? And I was like, it's nice to see you, but also, like, (laughs) dude, knock on the door. it's quite, it it was quite common for him to not pick up on social cues. Do you remember when he hit on my girlfriend who was sitting on my lap? I mean, he just went for it. Shot for it. You know, shoot, shoot, your, for, shoot your shot. Shoot for the stars, land amongst the clouds. Which, I don't know what the clouds were, but... He, the clouds were my lap, apparently. Yeah. Uh, uh, this was the same girlfriend that left me because she was in love with you. I gotta hear this again. I'm not blaming you. I'm thanking you in hindsight, let's be honest. Well, I, that was I a dodged. I dodged bullet bill on that one. We're not gonna get into that. What, what? You, you don't want to tell people how you were... No, I don't want to... What did I... I didn't do anything. We can argue. No, I didn't do anything. I don't want you to talk your way into talking about someone else. Oh, gotcha. We're going to move forward. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know where this is going. Um, So I had a question for you. mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you've seen recently, but like these people that are like calling people out like on their weddings. You see this shit? Calling people out on their weddings? Dude, there was a video of this guy. Yeah, Mar- marrying his wife, and not yet. It, it was in the process. First of all, you, I think you did. I think you sent me this video a couple weeks ago. But like the woman, like the wife is like giving, or the soon to be wife is giving a fucking speech, and she's like, "I love you for everything, for your highs, your lows, your perfections, your flaws." And his mom is in the background, like squaring up, like he doesn't have fucking flaws. I did see that. You saw that shit. It was like a redneck wedding, was it? It seemed very trailer. It seemed like gypsies. It wow, really? You're going gypsy on that one. I don't even know the magnitude of that word. I don't know what it is. I don't know what a gypsy is. I've seen a show and I just assume gypsies what, are Borat? like No, no, no. Like a, there's like my gypsy wedding. There's like a show, but they are like they're very crazy people. They really? wear like orange dresses. They're they're nuts. They have just eight. nuts, orange and weird colors. Literally, like where picture a bride wearing an orange dress. You're like, what kind of person would do this, gypsy? I mean, it's a, I guess it's a religious thing. But. I don't know what it is, but I know that the show doesn't go, do a good job. It, I know what you're saying though. It looked like they were in like the basement of a senior center getting married. It looked like a, a like a place where you know you move the tables out of the way and then ten year olds play basketball. Exactly. Like a like a travel league. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were all sitting at those lunch tables that had the benches that folded up. Yeah, it looks like a church basement. It does, yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. just go upstairs and have the wedding like a normal person. Yeah. Like, we don't have to be down There's here. no sunlight down there. It's just, like, the all, fluorescent lights. Also, wasn't a lot of people there. Well, I think that's... I mean, maybe it's from recently. You can't do a lot with current That's true. That's true. Also, let's just get into it. What a fucking psycho that mom Dude. is. Dude. <laughs> Dude, my son doesn't have flaws. Well, he and, does. Number one, his mom. Oh, yeah. I, that, Big bing, flaw, lady. Bingo. Bango. Bongo. Bingo, bango, bongo. Dude, she got up and was like squaring up. Like, just like ready. It was like, about to fight the bride. And then the, I remember they, they were both like, you can get out. Well, then you can get out. Dude, do you know how it, like, listen. I'm pretty sure any person that I've dated, I don't think their parents could even, like, I would destroy their parents. If I got into a fist fight with them, (laughs) I mean, Becca's dad I hear is pretty scrappy, but like any of my exes, their dad, I would fucking wash them. (laughs) You see, you just saved that right there. Yeah. You like that. Good job. Good job. Um, (laughs) No, apparently he is. I will beat the shit out of him. Uh, But like, if I was at a wedding and the, like my significant other's parents stood up, you're inviting to get the shit kicked out of Oh, this is violence. You know what I mean? Like at that point, like just get ready for it. I don't know how, how can, my, my son doesn't have flaws. That's insane. Dude. Just I, hit that, that lady is, probably had a bunch of debt. Oh, before She was rolling in it. She, 
I just like I, I I'm kind of to be honest though like good on her you know what I mean like good for her oh like I mean, do you know the balls you need to have to stand up at a wedding to like just like full on just call it out she'd be like nope or how little self awareness you have to have yeah that's a good one too <laughs> like how did they how did she let it get to this point you know what I mean I don't know she clearly did not like the bride dude. I, and then there was another one where like these people are getting married and this woman storms in and she's like, don't you, don't, don't for a second. She used the hands. I think don't for a second think that I forgot that you fucked me and gave me a kid. Dude. <laughs> Dude. I love the way that's worded. Cause it sounds like, you know, we had sex and then you just gave me this <laughs> two year old, just adopted it, gave it to me. <laughs> Dude, sign it over. Good fucking... Good for them. Like, you know how fucking crazy you need to be to do that shit? Oh, man. Like... That's scary. What would you do? Like, I would... I would, like, pay someone to do something like that. Just so I can beat the shit out of them. What? Like, show up to your wedding? And just scream. Excuse me. So, I... I So, something that I was trying to plan for my wedding. The first one, when it got canceled. Oh, okay. What try are we on now? Uh, three. Nice. Yeah. Uh... Corona is what calls it. Right, 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 right. By right, the way, right, so right. we all know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to have one of our friends try to interrupt the first dance. <laughs> and then I was going to slam him through a table. On If you would have done that. Dude, you know how great that would have been? Who did you been? talk to? I didn't talk to anyone. Who were you going to talk to? I was going to talk to Dylan. You, he wouldn't have done that. A thousand percent he would have. No, he'd be like, yo, I'd do it. <laughs> He would have no. He wouldn't have. He, he would, would be been, too afraid. You really I, think so? I would have easily turned you down. Why? Because <laughs> there's just no way I'm gonna be that guy, dude. You know how absolutely like just like pretend he's drunk and like oh yeah, just be like wait a minute, wait a minute, just cut up a sick heel promo, just just like interrupt the first day, and we would both be like, first of all, I if I didn't, you would have had to tell. I would have had to tell a couple. people. I would have fucking killed. This I person. know. I know. <laughs> I would have just killed. But them. how great would it have been if they interrupted? Because remember, like, remember you would have had to tell your dad, hundred percent. No, my dad, he would have been fine. My dad would have been sleeping. It's closer. Slammed his head. It's closer than I thought. Yeah. Um, I would have told like people that I thought would have rushed. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, Danny, uh, <laughs> yeah. both Dannys, I guess. Right. Yeah. Uh, my maybe my brothers. Just to, just so they know, right? Because there's violence they have. Because you know how fucking fun. Do you remember years ago, me and Dylan had like an ongoing like beef? Yeah, yeah. Where it was like we would like I would call yo I would call Bryant when he was still in Bryant High School. I would call Bryant pretending to be his dad to try to get him on the phone just to be like I'm your daddy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but it would never work. I would call his cell from private numbers. I'd call from work numbers. You're kidding me? I tr- I would try so bad. I remember there was one where That's an amazing story. I, there was one where I got him on the phone, and I was like, um, you know, like the John Cena prank call. Yeah, yeah. Or it was I tried doing something along that line, and I was like, yeah, you know, you're you're so and so is like trying to reach you, and they're like, who? And they're like, one, two, three. And, and I was like, one, two, three. And he's like, one, two, three, who? And I was like, that's what you're going to hear this Sunday, brother, when I slam you. <laughs> you know, just to try to fuck with him. But, oh, man. Um, I'm your daddy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he would have lost his mind. Dude, I know. That would have been great. But um, I would have asked him to do it. But I don't. I, I, I know Becca would have had a bad time. Dude. Oh, man. She would have. Because I think she said to me, like, I said, like, I wanted to do, like, I stun her someone or something. And, like, the Stone Cold Beer Bash. But she said, like, babe, come on. You'd be covered in beer your wedding night. I would, I mean, it was going to happen you anyway. You were going to be covered. Yeah, it was Tell you what, I was definitely going to be covered. Yeah, the greatest party that never was is mm. what Rebecca and I are calling it. Yeah, but we'll do something one day. One day, if you don't do it, I'm just going to organize like a fake wedding. I'm tr- I there's going to be a hundred people Dude, there. we're trying. It's just no one is allowing us to do anything. No, right yeah, now. not yet. But I'm saying you know, like, even if it's three years down the line, it like, is, I'm going to set something up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, uh, it's... uh. You okay? What happened there? I was just stretching. That was a stretch? Well, I was just going like this, and I was also looking at the time. How are we doing on time? We're at an hour and four minutes. Okay, where do you want to get to? I don't know, but I do want to mention that, because you brought up Bryant. When Frankie... <laughs> <laughs> this is Vin's favorite story. Vin... Oh, you're... you're okay. Yeah, My yeah, brother-in-law. Yeah. I was so, like, Vin? Who the fuck is Vin? When Frankie was in high school, 
he was very active in like he was in the school play, mm-hmm. the main character. Damn right. You know, he would read announcements. I am I, Don Quixote. Yeah, he was Don Quixote. And the Fiddler. What? I was not the Fiddler. I played Avram the Bookkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Perchick, who started all We're the We're not going to do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, in high school, Frankie was, like, involved in all this shit, right? And, uh... He would he would read the announcements. He was friends with all the teachers and everything. So, but there was this one day that our our other friends who are a year younger than us are also in the school and like they're used to Frankie reading the announcements or whatever. And on this particular day, my friend Dylan was telling us the story, and he's like, "I'm in class, and I'm just like have my head down at my desk, and I hear Frankie over the PA system like reading the announcements, like, oh, get your money in for the prom, like blah blah blah." And then at the end of the announcements. <laughs> So before, before you get into this, so it was a thing that like in New York City public schools, the announcements came on. It was like, all right, everybody, listen up. I don't know if you want to know, but if you got to get your dues in. And like, you yeah. couldn't fucking hear a thing. Right. And it was just boring and like monotone. So of course, when they asked me to do, I only did it like four or five times. Yeah. When they asked me to do it, I was like, all right, but I'm going to make people listen. And they were like, how are you going to do that? I was like, I'm going to make a joke or something. And they're like, all right. Take it easy. <laughs> Don't say anything ridiculous. So I was like, all right, no, I, you know, I was, I was respectful. My mom worked at my school, so I didn't want to get either of us in trouble. Yeah. So I was like. She'll also come to your class and fuck you up. My mom would have roundhoused me in the middle of fucking film class. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, right, don't worry. I promise. Like, I won't say anything inappropriate. I won't say anything bad. And they're like, okay. So the first time I did it, I was so nervous. I sprinted downstairs because it was like, oh shit, I gotta go do this. I sprinted downstairs and I was like, I pledge allegiance. And I was fucking nervous. And at the end, I was like, uh, you stay classy, Bryant. I'm Ron Burgundy? And like, just a little thing like that. Yeah. And people, la- I, like I heard, like I was walking back to class and the people in my class were like, yo, that was that was so stupid but funny. Yeah. It's like, thank you. And then through time, I was like trying to figure out, I did the Burgundy one again and then I was like, yo, what? What can I say <laughs> that's going to get people to laugh? So go ahead and tell the story from Dylan's per- perspective. <laughs> Dylan's in class. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, yeah, Frankie's doing the announcements or whatever. <laughs> and then it's time. And then he's like wrapping it up when usually he would say, you stay classy, Brian. I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> but instead he says, <laughs> he says, and that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. And fucking cut it off. <laughs> Did you say What did you do? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. We're recording. Ah. We're done. We're done. No, and then, um... And then, didn't they run into the room like, you're fucking done? Dude, so it was... So the way that... There, were, there was, like, this giant-ass fucking machine at the back of the main office. <laughs> and in the main office at the time was the assistant principal of, like, the science department. Mm-hmm. And... He was, like, a very old school... T- very cool. Like, we were super cool. Like, I had a class with him. He was awesome. Really nice guy. But he's definitely one of those, like, people, like... Like, the teachers run the school, not the students. Like, the teachers... Like, we, you know, we, I, I'll take four weeks off if I want to. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I did that, and probably rightfully so. <laughs> I, as soon as I shut it off, I was with a girl... I, I think I was with a, a, a classmate of mine. And she, like, looked at me like... <laughs> there's no way you did that and he stopped me he's like what are you doing he's like do you think you run this school or something and I'm just I'm like I have a smile on my face and he just starts barking at me and the principal's office was right next door so the principal comes in and he's like Frankie you're in my office I was very cool with the principal fucking like this uh, and he goes dude what did you say I told him what I said he goes did you say anything ir- like irresponsible or disrespectful or homophobic or vulgar i was like no he goes, <laughs> homophobic. Uh, yeah i mean he just asked, he went through the laundry list of things i could have said basically <laughs> you stay classy brian that's gay <laughs> the button, like, the fuck? yeah like the, the fucking ap was reacting like i went all right brian have a good day suck my fucking dick <laughs> like, no and i was like no man i didn't say it. he goes all right listen like you're done you can't do this anymore i was like oh. okay and Dude. I, yo, I walked out of that class, uh, out of that office, like, I felt like I was fucking breakfast club walking out, like, onto the field. Like, I heard the laughter from the room. Ugh. 
And um, I got upstairs to, like a fucking round of applause. <laughs> And people were like, yo, you're crazy. I remember when Dylan told that story. It was unreal. Yeah. He, it was, when he uh, told me that, I was fucking dying. Dude, dude it, was, it was so great. <sighs> but uh, hindsight should have been suspended. Maybe. But I, I mean, worth it. I could have said so much worse. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. At the time, you know, like I could have just been like, you know, have a great day, Brian. Just make sure you spit in my mouth, you little piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like, Why I would that be bad? could have went with it. Yeah, I don't know. You were you were a little troublemaker. You don't tell as many stories as me. That's why people think I was like fucking baby Hitler. <laughs> I wasn't in high school. I was a very good boy. <clears throat> Middle school, you were a little douchebag. I was bag. fucked up. I was fucked. You're a little douchebag. But I got into some bouts with a, a Chinese Spanish teacher, and I remember that. Yeah, Miss Shi. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. That was her name. That was her name. Uh, and then in high school, in high school you weren't, I, I feel like you couldn't be bad in high school because you were, like, they'd kill you. It was Catholic school, yeah. Yeah, so they, they would put a bullet in your eyes. Or they'd, you know, they'd do some stuff. Yeah. Which they did do some stuff. Not to me. They, but like, there was like an, Dude, a, an investigation. I was about to, holy shit. There was an investigation open. Really? Way up, like this was like within five years, there was like an investigation. God damn. Any like teachers that you had or knew? No. No, no, no. Um... No, I don't think so. But, like, the principal's in hot water. I really? Think. There were so many, like, I don't know if there were ever investigations. I know one teacher was, just, like, fired for fucking a student. And there were so many other, like, stories or rumors that of basically of students. Like, yo, do you know how fucking, like, you know how wild that is? Like, being a high school teacher and fucking a 16-year-old student? Good God. <laughs> what? Who was it? There was some comedian who was like, this happened and the, the student uh, died because of excessive high-fiving. <laughs> I remember I saw that. It's like the, the, the South Park episode was like, was she hot? And he's like, yeah. And he goes, nice. <laughs> but like, I, I didn't, yeah. Dude, was they, there oral sex involved? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> You that that's the that's the trick. You're 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 rewriting the story here because I don't rewrite anything. You rewrite the story. You and I growing up were one A, one B. That's true. We did pretty much the exact same shit. It's just I talk about it and you don't. Your stories are just funnier than mine. Your stories are funny, but you you just I think <laughs> I also don't omit what are you taught this is like a myth. It's not a myth. And also you're here now. So they're going to come oh, out. I'm not looking forward to it. So you guys can look forward to to uh, all the stories coming yeah, out. Yeah, a lot of stories. We're not holding back here. Yeah. All right? I, I, Joey already gave me the, the, the lowdown, and he said, you not, you need to not hold back. Yeah. And I'm not going to. Don't hold it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think we could wrap it up for today. Oh. <laughs> is you, okay. Is, is your tantrum done? No, I don't, I mean, you know, I like this. That's it. You don't do well with sentiment. You're not sentiment. I am being a sentimental. You're not. You're just, you're acting like debt. <laughs> <laughs> Callback. Comedy. Boom. That's how you do it, folks. That's what we, that's, that's showbiz, baby. That's why he gets paid $70 million a year. <laughs> oh, whoa, I wish. <laughs> $70 million. Dude, holy shit. The stuff I would do for $70 million. Same. Dude, everything in the book. <laughs> Name it. Your brother-in-law, our friend Danny. Uh, <laughs> I remember one time I was like, would you like suck a dick for a million dollars? And he goes, I would. <laughs> He's like, I would suck a dick in the Macy's window in Times Square during Christmas time for a million dollars. <laughs> it was so funny. Was yeah, hilarious. there's not much. There's not much. He's married to my sister, so I guess he lost. Yeah. But there's not much that he wouldn't do for money. Did I tell you I saw him the other day driving by? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> just drove by me, and I was like, oh, hey. And then he just kept driving, and I texted him. I'm like, you can't even stop, you piece of shit. He goes, if you only knew what was going on in the back seat. And his, his fucking kid was screaming. Yeah, oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's my nephew. It's cute kid. Cute kid. Did you hear about this? Sorry, this is what we'll end on. They came over last weekend, the weekend after, the couple days after my birthday, and my sister, you know, my sister's like, listen, like, you know, joking around, we didn't get you anything for your birthday, but DJ, the baby, my nephew. You guys are calling him DJ? Yeah, Danny Jr. Kind of hot. 
It's a hot name for a hot baby. He is a cute baby. He's a cute baby. They go now. He yeah. He's gonna he's gonna hit those years that are gonna be tough. <laughs> That's all kids do. Um, they were like my uh, Miles, DJ, DJ. He got he got you something and he wants to give it to you now and I'm like couldn't like we're all hanging out we were in the pool you know like having drinks and eating uh-huh. and she's like no just open it now come on we, he wants to see you open it and I was like all right all right all right open it I turn around and it's a glass with like a decal on it I'm like oh pretty cool pretty cool and it fucking didn't register at first and I look at it and it said Godfather you're the Godfather dude I'm the fucking Godfather that's tight dude and I was like did you start talking in an accent immediately instantly. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, my I literally, I saw it and I was like, "Oh, pretty cool," Cause, you know, because I like the the movie The Godfather. I was like, "Oh, pretty cool." Whoa! I was like, "That should have made. This is your fucking best cup I've ever gotten." It was very cute. That's awesome. And then I got a custom basement yard cup. Really? Yeah, it's pretty fire. I got to show it to you. My, wow. my brother and uh, his significant other girlfriend. I feel like I should just call them sister in laws at this point. They're not married, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you got. Nick do. and Julia made it for me. It's it's a it's like a travel cup. And it has the Basement Yard logo on the back. It says Frank. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You're the Godfather. I, but I think that like makes sense. No one else would be it. Who the fuck would be it? Any of my other brothers. Dominic. No, but you're first in line. You're over the best friend. Yeah, also. but like they're also like that's like I guess they're going like the actual like religious route. Like because like the Godfather is like basically saying like if anything happens to the parents, you take care of the kid. Uh, right. And I I guess that's like it's. M- like okay like I'll, I'll do it obviously but like dude i'm never gonna be i have so because like shannon's the most traditional person mm-hmm. and like i think it's like unless they have one thomas or shannon have like four kids because it goes in like a line like she's the godmother and it's gonna be thomas Steel, for her and it's gonna be thomas for her oh or it's gonna be vin's brother Oh, uh, and I, then it's yeah. like I, I'm at the bottom of the top of the ball. I would name like random people, like the godparents. It would, I, I think Beck and I spoke about like if we were to, like if and when we have kids. Do you do Godfather stuff? Are you doing? I that? don't give up. Like I don't know what I have to do. I think I just need to be there and just talk in a funny accent. Oh no! You, I mean, you got to go to church. You got to yeah, light yeah, a yeah, candle. Yeah. That's uh, that's right. I remember. Um, I think they were saying they're gonna do two baptisms or whatever or something. Two or something because there's like the or because remember we're baptized Greek Orthodox. Ah, uh, right double now. bap, double bappy, uh, and uh, I just got to do the Godfather stuff, which yeah. is fire, which is easy, which is so cool. I was already the coolest uncle. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Chris. I already was the coolest. Let's be honest. And then on top of that, now I'm the Godfather. I'm the double coolest. Dangolion. Uh, uh. We're going to end on that. <laughs> I do the better Tony Soprano. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, where can they find you, Frank? Well, if you want to find me, I'll be outside eating some gobble go with, with fat, fat, fat Tony and stupid shill. Uh, F. Al- I'm sorry about that. F. Alvers 8085 on Twitter and on Twitch if you want to come hang out with me. Play video games. Uh, and sometimes uh, get drunk together. The Frank Alvers on Instagram. Check it out. Amen. Um, you can find me at Joe Santagato on all platforms and also go follow the show at The Basement Yard on Instagram and our Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard, where you will get an extra episode of us every single week. Okay? So go check that out. See you guys next time.